Okay, so here we are connected to ServiceNow. Probably you already know this solution and this screen. It's the standard ServiceNow, let's say, functionality uh, or solution where we can uh, access to the to the portal, to the basic portal, and also to the catalog of let's say requests that we can do in ServiceNow. We have customized this for being able to manage these two use cases that in this case you will see that they are use cases very related to public sector HR processes. But the idea is that these screens that we will see now, they are, they can be reused, they are reusable or they can be reused to answer another another to, to, to answer different needs related to HR for a private company or for a big organization. OK, if we access, for example, to the second use cases, the declaration of spouses income for household allowance NDC for employee, it is because in the European bodies at each employee has to declare the incomes of the spouse in order to to being able to manage different allowances. OK, but this need maybe it's 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 also present in a big company, in a big insurance company, or in a big utilities company where there are these kind of needs. If the need is not exactly the same, but they have, for example, uh, they have to declare the incomes for a for a, for a, for avoiding uh, uh, problems of interest or conflicts of interest or things like that. It's a it's an example of reusing these screens. Okay. In service now, we have built this screen, for example, you will be familiar with these fields that, or, or with the functionalities that we will see. Some fields are retrieved automatically from, from success factors in this case, other, other fields have to be populated, fields are dependent one on the another, depending on the value that you inform in one field, different fields appear or disappear, or some are obli uh, obligatory or not. Okay, that, let's say the classical functionality in service now. And here we will we will declare our spouse uh, income, okay, and with the helps of calendars and and standard service now functionality. And once we finish, and once we finished, we will submit. We will submit it now. You see that we come back to the standard, let's say, service now functionality where we can track the, the progress of the request. And now a workflow has been launched. Now we will access to service now. We will log out from service now and we will access again service now as the approver of this request. And we will see, uh, we will find the request. Okay. We have some tests here, previous tests. We can check all the details and we can approve it. And once we approve it, now we will go, we will change the tab and we will move to success factors. And we will see that all this information has been integrated or has traveled, you know, has been moved to success factors. It's an SAP solution, if you're not familiar with that, it's the SAP solution for managing HR, not the core HR, payroll, and these things more core, but learning, careers, uh, successions, and all these, let's say, soft uh, part of HR processes. And here we will see that this declaration of incomes has, has been populated. Uh, we can we can check it by the by the date and the time now that it's the integration that we have run that we have run and all the information has have been uh, stored or stored in sap success factors okay so in summary we have we have been using service now as a as a flexible uh, let's say request ma request managing uh, solution and we are integrating integrating it with SAP Success Factors as let's say the core HR or backend HR uh, solution. This integration has been have has been managed by this uh, integration monitor. Okay, we can move to the third tab, Mark. And here we have this 
we have built a monitor of this integration. Now we are running just one integration, but imagine in a real case where, a lots, where there are lots of use cases and each use case can have a lot of processes moving around from one system to, an, to another system or from one solution to another. Having a monitor that helps you taking control of what is happening is a, we think that it's a useful solution or useful tool. We will begin uh, by the right tab, the admin tab, okay? Um, this admin tab allows you to activate or disactivate each of use each uh, each one of the use cases that you are managing you, for allowing this integration to run or not to run sometimes if you know that a system is down or that there's an error that you already know maybe it's convenient to disactivate mm, this uh, these uh, integrations for not having too many errors okay so uh, here in this in this um, in this uh, tab we can activate or disactivate both the use cases or all the integrations that are inside or are related or are dependent to each of the use cases. Okay, here we have technical names as this ID, but there are more functional names, no? connectors, access factors to service now for being able to answer both technical needs, but, but also user, user, business user oriented needs. Okay. Uh, and this is the first the first functionality that we have in the monitor, the managing of the of the integrations. If we move again to the to the initial screen in the monitor mark. OK, this is the admin tab. We've seen the admin tab. As we will have potential potentially a lot of integrations moving around no, and traveling, we have this KPIs tab in this KPIs tab. We can track the progress of all these integrations. We have different different displays, no or bars or or how do you call it this or rounds or everything. lines. We can we pies. can well, pies okay. pies and sorry pies and bars. I, I couldn't find the, the 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 word in English. We can we can we can change the display and we can filter uh, by different criteria. In this case, we can filter, for example, for a for a concrete, for a, for a specific use case, for all of them, and also by dates. Okay, Mark, if you can open the date range just for, for to see some er errors, because we weren't, we we are we are running very very nicely in the last in the last dates, but we had some errors before. Here you you will see that the system shows you the number of errors, warnings, and OKs no, that that you have. We, you can you can play with the dates, uh, selecting some dates here in the graphic just for making it bigger or or smaller, uh, just for tracking this integration history. And also we can we can drill down. Okay, if we can if 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 we are interested in a in a selection criteria, we can double click and access, for example. Now we are interested in checking the errors because the OKs are okay. Uh, but we are interested in checking the errors. Here we access the detail of the errors. We have details for each ID and each interface, when the error occurred, the date and the hours. Silvia, you have you have a question. Please go ahead. I see your faces and your and your hands now. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Because I was thinking, um, this monitor is monitoring the service now side, the success factor side, or more or both. 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 It's it's monitoring okay. the by direction. So, by so it's, it's a, okay. So it's in another in another platform outside. It's it's built architecture. SAP, uh, it's built it's built on SAP BTP that it's okay. a development platform in SAP, but it's controlling the integration in both sides. Okay. Okay, but it's just, it's external, so it yeah. requires another infrastructure. Just to explain mm -hmm. for the customer. Okay. Okay, thanks. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, 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 you need SAP, BTP for, for implement, for having this monitor. Yeah? Oh, oh, okay. But obviously, obviously then we could, we could get into, into the play, into deployment options. Maybe it could be used in a software as a service mode or. Yeah, yeah, yes. Well, uh, so, it's a yeah, monitoring, it's a monitoring stuff. So we are thinking about speaking, integration. Yeah, yeah. But because we can monitor. Platform, yeah. 
Yes, also because a module learning platform can monitor any type of connection between any any system. So mm -hmm. it's a it's a it's a it's a non top service. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here, what we are what we are seeing is for each integration flow, no, it's for each flow, the ID, the interface, the the functional name of the interface, when the error occurred, the date, the hour, the source and destination, and the status. In this case, it's an error. Uh, we can have more more detail if we if we if we press the plus button or the plus functionality, we have all the detail. The interface, the host name, the URL, the method that it's you that it's being used, and also we can we can even go deeper in this in this error or in this in this issue, pressing the payload uh, functionality where we will see where we will see the let's say in the code no the the point where the error occurred. It can be helpful. In a in a higher level, just for a functional point of view or functional monitoring uh, purpose, maybe in a higher level it's enough for you. But if you need to know more detail about the technical error, you can even drill down to the to the detail of on the code where the error occurred. Okay, and just for finalizing, uh, and all this information can be extracted to Excel and to to flat files. Uh, to text txt files uh, just for for extracting massive uh, massive data and for analyzing it. So briefly, this would be the accelerator that we have built. Okay, you've seen reusable reusable screens, reusable workflows, and this integration monitor with its with this functionality. 